Remember this emotional moment when Prime Minister Narendra Modi consoled the then ISRO chief K. Sivan after Chandrayaan 2 failed to successfully land on the moon's surface. That was September 7, 2019. Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, is known for taking failures in its stride. Almost four years on, it is ready with a fresh mission. Chandrayaan 3 is scheduled to be launched at 2.35 p.m. on 14th of July from Sri Harikota. On its success, it will make India the fourth country to land spacecraft on the moon. But what exactly is Chandrayaan 3? And why is it so important for India? Chandrayaan 3 is the third installment of the Chandrayaan series and India's second attempt to achieve a soft landing on the moon's surface. It will reach a lunar orbit almost a month after its launch, and it is likely to land on the moon on August 23rd. The Chandrayaan-3 will become the world's first mission to soft land near the lunar south pole. Earlier spacecraft have landed in the equatorial region, and polar regions of the moon have not been explored so far. The Chandrayaan-1 mission had indicated the presence of water on the lunar surface. ISRO's new chief, S. Somnath, has said, the space agency has designed Chandrayaan-3 with a failure-based approach. Explaining it, he said that the space agency looked at what are the things that can go wrong, and those, he said, have been addressed. Chandrayaan-3 maintains the same mission architecture as its predecessor, while incorporating some crucial modifications. Unlike its predecessor, which comprised the Vikram lander, Pragyan rover, and an orbiter, Chandrayaan-3 will be equipped with a lander and a rover only. Chandrayaan-3 consists of an indigenous lander module, and a propulsion module and a rover. The lander will have the capability to soft land at a specified lunar site and deploy the rover, which will carry out in situ chemical analysis of the lunar surface during the course of its mobility. It also incorporates lander hazard detection and avoidance cameras to assist in coordination. A laser retro reflector array has also been added to understand the dynamics of the moon system. This addition supplements the three payloads that were also part of the Vikram lander on Chandrayaan-2. ISRO integrated the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft with the GSLV MK3 rocket on July 7 to better facilitate its journey to the moon. With optimized payload configurations, improved lander capabilities, the mission is expected to address past challenges and enhance our understanding of the moon and exoplanetary research. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She will soon be quoted on the front page. Business Standard